Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back into the Hopkinton High School turf field as we have our fourth game of the day here live on HKMED and streaming on our YouTube page. It's Hopkinton Hiller's girls JV soccer as they are set to take on Medway in the varsity game. It was a scoreless finish between Hopkinton and Medway. Tom Nappy alongside Steve Sweetapple on the call, John Ritz on camera. And we are just about ready to go here in this JV contest. And as they did in the varsity game, it will be quarters for this JV game. I believe they are still 20 minute quarters, although there are 17 minutes and 30 seconds on the scoreboard, so maybe not. Yeah, it's an odd time. So it looks like they're going to do 17 minute and 30 second quarters for JV. Well, that is true. They do typically play 35 minutes rather than 40 at the JV level, so that makes sense. Oh, okay, yeah. So how'd the varsity game go, Steve? It was a 0 0 draw. Um, it, 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 act the, it, it, it played out like Mike and I thought it was going to be. We thought it would be a little sloppy game with no scrimmages, not a lot of practices, not a lot of touch on the ball, and, and it was. It was, a, it was a sloppy game from both sides. Well, certainly a lot of adjustments these players have to get used to as Emily Hayward tries to work her way up the near side. It was knocked out of bounds. Cincinnati trying to send it over to the corner of the box, and it's deferred by Camila Murdith of Medway, a freshman striker. Entered into play from Cincinnati. Now with possession is Michaela Skanson. And a boot by Graziano. Over to the far side. Skanson trying to catch up with it. Out of bounds it goes. So how was it watching a soccer game with no throw-ins? <laughs> bizarre, absolutely bizarre. Uh, no throw-ins. Some of these rules I just don't understand um, because they make no sense. You can't do a corner kick into the box, but you can play, corner kick has to be played on the ground so you can make a three yard pass to another player and then they can put it in the box in the air. So I, I just don't understand the rationale with what MIAA is doing, but I don't understand a lot of stuff, so I just go with it. <laughs> My wife would agree with that. Well, I know they're just trying to pretty much make the game so there's not a whole lot of touching the ball. There's not a whole lot of groups of players gathered close together. They're trying to keep them spread out to the best of their ability. And talking to field hockey head coach Becky Abate, she was mentioning how field hockey transitioned to seven on seven to avoid a lot of rule changes. And you just wonder if that's something maybe soccer could have considered, but I'm sure the kids are happy to be out there and playing the game as that is sent wide by Annie Bomfin. Hiller's JV is led by head coach Amy Mick and Medway is led by head coach Daniel McMahon. Along the near side, sent up towards Emily Hayward. Uh, and there's a kick in there by Jamie Pillard. Another stoppage here. What was that, one of, these, one of those uh, close contact stoppages? Yeah, you gotta give him 10 yards for the initial pass in. And that is sent down by Pillard. Hillers in their home green, Medway in their away white with the navy blue. And had a play along the near side off of a Hiller. That was Cincinnati. And we'll have a kick in from Pillard. And it's taken away. And now trying to take it back is Danielle Smith for Medway. Is, is knocked out of bounds off of Hayward. Jamie Pillard will put it in play. See, that wasn't allowed in the varsity game. The ball has to stay on the ground. Can't be in the air. Well, and you have to imagine that 
it's a it's an it's an adjustment for the officials too. It's, yeah, to, yeah, yeah, exactly. They're certainly gonna miss some of the calls here and there, getting used to these new rules. It's an adjustment for everybody: the players, the coaches, the officials. And I know um, a lot of uh, pretty much all the schools they had a intra squad scrimmage. And the, they actually had officials for those games, so the officials could, could get, get practice. Yep. <laughs> Zerlage sends it over to the far side, and it's knocked out of bounds. The sun is shining bright here on this Hopkinton High School turf field. Beautiful day for a game. It certainly is. Beautiful day for four games. Yep. <laughs> And you and Mike did a tremendous job on that varsity game. Very good broadcast. As it is going to be sent up turnover. top of the box. And now tracking it down for Medway was Smith, but getting in her way was Hayward. It's sent out of bounds. Hillers will put it into play. Certainly going to miss corner kicks, though. It's usually one of the most exciting parts of a soccer game, in my opinion. Riley puts it in towards Hayward, and she'll get it into the box. Take it. Johnson trying to track it down. Johnson takes it over to the far side. She's got help outside. Too much on the ball. Sent down back into Hiller's territory. Smart move there by Graziano. And it's sent up by the goaltender, Libby Hurley. That was a good, good skip pass from the keeper. Midway puts it into play, Pillar. Here comes Wamsley. Now it's sent back up by the Defenseman for the Hillers, Caitlin Graziano. Medway will put it into play here. Jamie Pillard sends it over. Passed by Tompkins. Taken away there, back and forth we go. The Hillers trying to work in the Medway territory. We're at the 11 minute mark of the first quarter. Good ball. Sent over by Hayward, and the goalie comes way out and is able to just get in front of Nina Brooks. And that'll play along the end line it goes. Goaltender, Shayna Lieberman, a junior, will put it up field. Hmm. I'm surprised by that. They're not playing the new <coughs> the new rule which allows you to have defensive players inside the box and you can make a pass to them. And just Hayward. gives you a better chance of controlling the ball. And a uh, shot there, and then turned away was Michaela Skanson. Out of bounds it goes. Hillers will maintain possession. And you wonder if, uh, I mean, obviously there's a lot of new rules to study. You wonder if these officials are aware of that rule. Along the near side, out of play. Medway will put it into play. One off of Hayward. Sent up the field by Kayla Hansen. Back to midfield we go. Over to the near side. Hayward catches up with it. She'll send it over. And getting the boot on it was Chloe Cornwell, before it's sent out of play. 
So how was the uh, ball situation in the varsity game? <laughs> they, they can't use the ball boys or girls no, anymore. No, they, they missed they miss the uh, Hopkinton Youth Soccer ball boys and girls because uh, Rich, Rich got a workout chasing balls. <laughs> you must be a pretty tired guy after uh, the four games today. 35 and counting left to go. Sent in to Ehlers territory. Here comes Medway. A nice move there. And the shot from Hansen is denied. Hopkinton working it back to midfield. That's Michaela Skansen. Over to the far side, Graziano. And it went through her leg there as Whitehouse gets to it. Graziano back with it now and sends it over to Johnson. There's a shot, and it's wrapped up by the goalkeeper, Lieberman. Lieberman airs it out. Getting the boot on it was Sansonetti. Sent up by Erlich. Now Pillard, contested by Hayward. Here comes Hayward, into the box. Some contact oh, there, and there's a let whistle. Play go on. Well, that was certainly at the fault of Daniel Smith, but they had player-to-player uh, -player contact, so that's what drew the whistle. But the Hillers will have possession. That'll be a direct kick just outside the box. If you're Cincinnati here, do you take a shot? You do, because there's so. no there's no wall. That's right. <clears throat> so we'll uh, see what kind of leg Caitlin Cincinnati has. There's a boat. Oh, just a little high. Yeah, you want to go high, but you should have gone upper left corner. I mean, wonder if the wind played a factor. But it certainly had the distance. She just got that down a little bit. Now it was going in. Six and a half and counting left to go here in the first quarter. Sent out of bounds along the far side. And a handful of substitutions for Hopkinton. Some of the players doing some air fives. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Coach Mick, Mick going for a little platoon change here, four at once. That's kind of what we saw in uh, the field hockey games. Since it's seven on seven, there was a oh, lot yeah. more substitutions, yeah. and it was almost like a line change you'd see in an ice hockey game. This is sent up towards the box, hearing it out as er, is, uh, Smith or Medway, and now we'll get a whistle as Alstrom draws some contact. It's Holstrom Hall. Free kick here for Hayward. Holstrom Hall sends it back to Hayward. Up the near side she goes. Puts it in the box. And nobody aggressively crashing for the Hillers. Daniel Smith was able to boot it out. And it's knocked out of play off of Wamsley. Excuse me, make that Kayla Hansen. Get a stoppage here, redo on the inbound. Balls are soft. Uh, so they're asking for a new ball and maybe a pump. <laughs> I heard the one when it hit here that Rich caught. You could tell it was soft when it hit. Hopefully and the goalkeeper threw one away too because it was soft. Hopefully there won't be any deflate gate scandal. <laughs> Alstrom Hall will put it in play. Just pass over to Torigny. Now Ehrlich battling for it. Getting in there was Finnegan. On the far side now, and tripped up is Nina Brooks. Up 
Four minutes left to go here in this first quarter. We were scoreless in this JV girls soccer matchup between Hopkinton and Medway. Working up the far side, Finnegan. Nice pass there, Graziano. A couple of Mustangs in front of her, a nice move, sends it to the box. And just past Van Buren it drop goes. It, drop it, drop it. Hayward, out to Van Buren. Here's a shot and it is defended. Van Buren still trying to get to it, we get a whistle. here Steve uh, it's a push but it's in the box so this is a big opportunity for Hopkinton Emily Hayward will have the free kick from inside the box it's got to be indirect though it is okay. hand down she touched it and it's wrapped up Nina Brooks Sent it towards the net, but not enough oomph on that one as Lieberman airs it out. Along the far side. Now Tompkins trying to come away with it, but she's contested by Brooks. We get a whistle there for some contact. It'll be Medway ball. Tompkins sends it flying, a good kick there. And a smart move sending it to the goaltender by Grantzos. Now along the near side, Ashram Hall sends it to her left to Van Buren. And sent back down by Medway's Pillard, Jamie Pillard, a sophomore. Elstrom Hall sends it out of play along the near side. It'll be Medway possession at the two minute mark. Sent over by Copeland. And out of play it goes along the far side. Medway will maintain possession, but they have to track down a ball. They're quickly running out of time here in the first quarter. So what normally would be a corner kick will be a kick in from the corner. That's the term, right, Steve, kick in? I call it a futsal kick, futsal throw, because there's no throw-ins in futsal. You just play it off the line with your feet. Ah, okay. And in the wrong net goes Annie Baumfin. Yeah, there's not a lot of urgency here. Medway, we're under 30 seconds. Official time being kept on the field because we're under two minutes. Well, I mean, you have to imagine there's some confusion out there just transitioning to these different rules this year. Miller's trying to send it out. They do for the moment, but Medway continuing to try to attack as Cornwell gets there. And a boot there from Pillard. Top of the box is Hanson, and that is going to be it for quarter number one. After one quarter of play, it's Medway nothing, Hopkinton nothing. Second quarter coming up next on HCAM. You're tuned in to JV Girls Soccer.
We are ready for the second quarter of play. We'll put 17 minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. We are scoreless in this JV matchup between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Medway Mustangs. And Steve, you have to imagine the first couple of weeks, it's really going to be just uh, feeling it out. Yep. And getting used to these new rules. Yeah, as we were talking during the break, this, this game is very similar to the varsity game. You can tell both teams with no scrimmages, they haven't had a lot of practice touches of the ball. It's, it's just, it's a little sloppy and a little slow. But I expect that to change, obviously, as the season moves on. Right. And the schedule is going to be uh, two games a weekend. And that applies for JV and varsity field hockey boys and girls soccer. So tomorrow, girls varsity and JV will be at Medway. We'll have the boys teams here against Medway. And that's the way it's going to go for the 10 games this season. Tracked down along the near side by Schaefer. Schaefer sends it into the box, and it's going to force the goalkeeper to wrap it up, Lieberman. That was good vision there by Schaefer. Now tied up is Caveney along with Terengi. It's gonna be a little too much. Yeah, yeah, the play goes. Send it up. Ostrom Hall sends it to the near side up to Schaefer. Schaefer trying to center it up. And that shot is diverted off a of Mustang, off the foot of Van Buren. Corner kick killers. Not sure they know it. possession, except they can't really take a, a corner kick, it has to be a pass. There's a boot into the box, collected by Elstrom Hall, cleared away by Graziano. Sent up by Silva. side Schaefer Schaefer sends it upfield and Lieberman will come out and wrap it up she airs it out over towards Murdoch sent upfield by Pillard trying to turn it around as Tompkins We'll get a whistle here. It's Van Buren is trying to get to get it away from Tompkins. It will be Medway possession. Yeah, the varsity game, the referee kept calling that a COVID foul because <laughs> you were too close to the player. Right. The, the close contact rule. Madeline White will put it in from the near side. Pillard, she'll send it down. Here goes White. And she'll give it a boot over to the net, it's wrapped up. And the goalkeeper, Libby Erlehi, sends it away up the far side. Come the Hillers trying to attack here is Champlin. And it is going to be wrapped up by the goaltender Lieberman. Good shot, some good power, but not where she wanted to put it. Jones delivers a knee to the ball as back to midfield we go. Medway now trying to work in the Hillers territory. And a play along the near side. 
few substitutions for Hopkinton. Caitlin Sansonetti, Michaela Scanson, and Steph Johnson into the game. Sent over to Sansonetti. Nice move there. Put back into Hiller's territory by Pillard. Along the near side. Alan Silva attempting a box out Meredith. Ends up out of play. Will be Hopkinton ball. Along the far side. Up the sideline goes Scanson. And out of play it goes. Just past the 12 minute mark of this second quarter. Tom Nappy, Steve Sweetapple on the call for this JV matchup between Hopkinton and Medway. John Ritz on camera. Sent over by Hurlehide to the near side of Pirelli. And a play it goes. Pillard will put it into play. Top of the box. Shot opportunity here, and it's wrapped up off the foot of Ella DeFoyd. Yeah, good save there by Herlai. Along the far side. Midway trying to work it back to the attack zone. Cleared away. Back and forth we go. Pillard airs it out. Is there too much on that one? Yes, there is. Real high with the pass to her left. Sent up field into Medway territory. Yeah, Hopkinton forwards are slow to react to passes. Cincinnati over to the near side and it got away from Schaefer. Jamie Pillar puts it in play. Uh, see, the ball is supposed to stay on the ground on, on the throw ins. Steph Johnson sends it up. Here's Feldman. Now with possession is Scanson along the far side. Getting in on her is Cornwell. Ends up out of play. Hopkinton will maintain possession. Gronzos tracks it down. One of the things I wonder about this uh, new format is out in front and with a whistle on what the Hillers thought might be a goal. Van Buren with a nice feed to Schaefer. Yeah, Van Buren was offside. I wonder what this uh, the new rules and the fact that they have to uh, chase down the balls at times since we don't have the option of using ball boys or ball girls. If they're uh, gonna bother with trying to estimate the amount of extra time. Didn't look like it in the varsity game. Didn't look like any extra time was added on the field. It's certainly gonna be interesting to talk to the players about how they feel about the situation with the rule changes, especially once they have a few games of experience. Obviously, I'm sure they're all happy to be out there. Because that's sent long and out of play. Off the foot of Skanson. Into the game for. 
Laura Hopkinton, Jessica Earlage, and Caitlin Graziano. Over to the near side. Miller is trying to get back into the attacking zone. Taken away by Cornwell. Get a back and forth here. Sansonetti gets a little tied up with White. Hillers will maintain possession. Seven minutes left to go here in the second quarter. Graziano. up by Caveney. Medway with an opportunity here, driving down is Murdith. Amelia Murdith, a couple of hillers on her tail, and it's taken away. And off of Murdith, out of play it goes. Graziano is trying to clear the zone. Madison Wamsley, Kayla Hansen into the game for Medway. That was good recovery from the hillers. That was a breakaway potential. Sent up towards midfield. Medway working in the Hiller zone. White sends it back. Here comes Steph Johnson. She'll send it flying into Medway territory. Trying to track it down was Feldman and was sent out a play by Smith as she felt Feldman coming on strong. Here's the kick in, or as, what was the word you used, Steve? Futsal kick. Futsal, Futsal throw. Futsal. I got to write that one down. Into the box and cleared back out. Over to Pirelli, she got tied up with White, and a play went, Medway ball. Pillard will put it in play. Graziano sends it over to the far side, and here comes Skanson. Along the sideline, that's Champlin. Hiller's trying to work it back up towards the box. Schaefer. Nice move there. There she goes. Into the box, and it's wrapped up just before Alexa Feldman could get there. Cleared away by Lieberman. Along the far side, Shelby Jones was able to pluck it away from DeFoyd. Uh, play it goes, Medway ball. Billy Williamson will put it into play. Along the far sideline, quickly approaching Hansen. She'll take a shot and it's off the side of the net. And look at this, the Hillers going to sub in six. Complete line shift here. We have a line change. <laughs> I think you'll see a lot of this in soccer as well. Getting everybody in there, giving them some playing time. 15 and counting left to go in the second quarter. And out of play. Off the top of the fence, stays in the yard. Medway puts it into play. Good boot there by Pillard. 
See, in the varsity game, the refs, if the ball went an inch off the ground, they blew the whistle and awarded the other team the kick. You weren't, you're not allowed to put the, the throw in in the air. It has to be on the ground. Ah, I think that maybe a little leniency here. Else <laughs> from Hall. I think we're going to see a lot of different styles of officiating as the season goes on, especially as these officials are still getting used to these rules. Strom Hall sends it over. And out of play that goes. Good effort, though, by Hayward. We're at the two minute mark of the second quarter. And uh, I think we're going to. Confusion here. It's yeah, killer ball. It's going to be Hopkinton ball. Alstrom Hall. I think there's even more confusion now. Van Buren. Sends it upfield to Brooks. And uh, close contact stoppage. Madeline White airs it out. That went off of Verlich. Less than a minute left to go here in the second quarter. Set back towards midfield by Smith. Taking it for Medway Hansen. Tracked down by Jones. Hiller is looking for a break here in the late stages of the second quarter. It's wrapped up by Lieberman. She airs it out. Goes Finnegan sending it up. Turned around by Pillard. Along the near side, kept in bounds by Hayward. A nice move there. Sent up by Alstrom Hall. Cleared away. Off the foot of Graziano. Pass over to Hayward and a little too much on that one. you're wondering it's the black line that is the oh, sideline. Oh, that's line. the halftime. That was a halftime whistle. And that is indeed the halftime whistle. I wonder if the uh, clock stopped. They had that issue They're supposed to stop earlier. in two minutes. They forgot. Ah, so we are at the half of five minute halftime break. Third quarter coming up next. We are scoreless and this JV girls soccer matchup between Medway and Hopkinton on HCAM.
All right. We are ready for the third quarter. We got 17 minutes on the scoreboard now. We'll have to ask about the uh, we lost 30 clock seconds. situation. Yeah, first half was just mi mirrored the varsity game. A little sloppy, a lot of errant passes, just not a lot of crisp movement, which you, you expect. Well, the clock didn't start, so perhaps they're having some technical difficulties. So that means the officials will be keeping track. In the varsity game, did you notice if, I mean, was the second half less sloppy? No, no, both, both halves were, were sloppy. But yeah, it's such a big transition, these new rules. And just looking at the reactions of some of the players on certain whistles, there was Definitely confusion out there. Yeah. Well, you, f you figure before your first game, you've had, you know, 25 practices and you've had a, probably two or three scrimmages. Right. So. <laughs> this year, not so much. No. As Feldman trying to break away with it. Miller's trying to push it into Medway territory. There's Skanson. Along the far side now, sends it up towards the box. And it is just out. Almost, she almost got there, uh, Schaefer, but just uh, about a second short. Over to the near side. Some body contact there as the ball goes out of bounds. Will be Hopkinton ball. Cincinnati. Gets it over to Johnson. Johnson lifts it up and it is off the hands of the goaltender. She's just able to wrap it up. If I'm not mistaken, it looks like Bella Demandis is the new goalkeeper for Medway. And one of the things that teams are going to do this year is pretty much give everybody a chance to get into the game, get some experience. Nice sent ball. The, sent the field. Here comes Medway. Higgins. And a nice steal. That was by Garantzos. It was very good recovery, good body positioning. And we get a whistle here, close contact between Feldman and Cornwell. So they're using the uh, electric whistles, and I didn't really notice. It, it took me a while to remember that. Yep. It was an electric whistle. They sound very similar to what the traditional whistle sounds like. Cincinnati puts it in. I thought it was going to be an air horn type of sound as Emma Chaplin sends it down. Over to midfield, tripped up was Tompkins. By the way, able to maintain for the moment as Wamsley sends it over. Along the near side now is Bomfim. Bomfim sends it towards the box. And there's a shot and it is wrapped up. It was Kayla Hansen getting the shot along the end line. Herlihy will send it out. Here comes Wamsley. Now it's Hopkins, and it's stolen away by Johnson for the Hillers. The far side, trying to track it down is Gronsos. Gronsos, trying to take it to the box. Nice move there, and it's gonna be cleared away by Whitehouse. Along the far side, that's Skanson. Skanson trying to put the moves on. There's a 
shot over towards the box, cleared away for the moment, and then knocked out of the box by Bonfim. Oh, nice and strike. And a big strike there. And that was Steph Johnson with the strike. That was the, the best offensive spurt the Hillers have had so far. That was good movement, good execution. Just got to build on that. 40 in county left to go in the third quarter. And if they keep putting the pressure on like that, eventually you got to think they'll break through. Graziano sends it over to Elstrom Hall along the far side. Elstrom Hall gets the foot on it over to Finnegan. And a collision between Schaefer and Pillard. Control by Hansen. Here comes the Hillers. Feldman sends it up. Over to the right side of the box towards Schaefer. And she will center it up, and it is going to be just a bit wide. Corner kick for the Hillers. Stringing some good passes together now, much better execution. We'll have the uh, COVID style corner kick. It's taken away there as Emma Champlin was trying to work her way between two Mustangs. Along the near side, Grazos. And taken away by Higgins. And here comes Medway. Grazos going to get in front of Higgins. Back and forth they go. She'll send it over to the goalkeeper. Ooh, that was a dangerous move there by Herli, keeping it in the box. Sent up top by Ehrlich. Along the far side. Going towards Feldman. Cleared back up by Pillard. And out of play is Milstrom Hall met up with Megan Tompkins. the futsal. There you go. <laughs> Glad I wrote it down. <laughs> There's a collision. Medway trying to get something going. Copeland along the far side. Now getting involved Hansen. And there's a shot and a deflection. Went off of Ehrlich and it's sent long and out of play. A handful of substitutions for the Hillers. Shelby Jones into the game, Kayla Sawyer. And Sienna Van Buren. Along the far side, sent up by Jones. Back into the Hiller's box it goes, and Herlihy will pull it down. Herlihy airs it out over to Torigny. Brooks sends it up, and it's taken away by Pillard. Hillard airs it up the far side. She's off sides. There comes Medway rushing in. She was off sides by a mile. Yeah, the officials missed it. And it looks like uh, we'll stay with Medway here. Kayla Hansen will have the entry from the corner, we'll call it. out of play. This 
will be a Hopkinton futsal. Along the far side, less than eight minutes left to go here in this third quarter. And a play, Medway ball. Airs it out. Now, is that a violation of yeah. some sort? Yeah, it was in the air. It's a direct kick. It's got to be on the ground. Ah. The ref got corrected at halftime. He kept calling everything, letting play in the air. So that will be something that takes some getting used to for the players for sure. Back and forth we go here in the Hiller's defensive zone. Hit up by Cornwell. Hopkinton trying to clear it out. Off of Brooks it goes to the near side. Whitehouse puts back up towards the Hiller's box. Here comes Bomfim past Too the strong. end line. Hillers will get a chance to clear. Marilla High sends it over to the far side. Along the sideline goes Hayward. Into Medway territory. Here comes Brooks. Brooks putting the moves on. Sends it back to Finnegan. Now Brooks. Good ball distribution by the Hillers. Sent towards the box and it's wrapped up. Some nice air by Finnegan. Finnegan. Over to the near side she goes. Goes to Sawyer. Now coming down is Kronzos. Catching up with it, Sawyer along the left side of the box. In she goes, and it's deflected back out. Look at how far the keeper is. Take a shot, take a shot. Kronzos sends it forward, and it's cleared away by Brooks. White. Anyway, trying to work it back in uh, Hiller's territory as Hopkinton has had a couple good possessions in a row and we're gonna get a whistle here because of contact. Hiller's gotta keep their heads up when they're dribbling towards goal because this, this keeper is way out of position. Chloe Cornwell sends it up. Oh, no, Hiller went Set to up the ball. There, here goes White. She'll take Good a shot, shot and it's shot. in. Madeline White with the first goal of the game and Medway leads it one to nothing. The score comes with 440 left to go in the third quarter. Yep, Hopkinton's defense got caught ball watching there. Both center backs just stood there. Yeah, nice uh, boot by White. Got it right to the left side of the net, just out of the reach of her lie. Clock continues to tick on as Nina Brooks will put it into play. We have a substitution, look like the Hillers had too many on the field. It's a 10 yard penalty, right? Yeah. <laughs> Along the near Thank side. Well, actually, nowadays, they might make it a 20-yard penalty. Jones. Medway trying to get something going here as Bomfim sends it over. Mustangs off to a 1-0 lead. Cincinnati. Tied up with Bomfim. And a nice move by Cincinnati to keep it. Here she goes. Sends it up. She's looking for Sawyer. Sawyer trying to turn it around, sends it over, looking for a shot, Great and shot. it's just wide. 
Great Steph, strike. It certainly was. Steph Johnson had the good setup and gave it a nice strike, but just a little bit wide. Up the far side it goes. Sent up by Graziano. And here comes the Hillers once again. There's a shot and it's wrapped up off the foot of Sawyer. Goaltender Bella Demandis will send it away. She's been busy the last few minutes. Here comes Hansen. Sends it up, turned away. Graziano. And now with possession, Skanson. Taken away by DeFoyd. Miller's trying to clear the zone. Good defensive stand there. Skanson puts it into Medway territory and on the track down is Jones. And she'll get tied up. Medway ball. It'll certainly draw a whistle there. Yeah, Smith's got good positioning from Medway. She's very good at reading the game, cuts down the angles. Medway puts it into play. Over to Hansen. Just below the two minute mark here in this third quarter. Here comes the Mustangs trying to attack once again. See if she can get a shot off. Trying to turn it around was White. And it's cleared away. With possession, Hayward. Up the far side. And Smith turns it around. Now Hopkinton will push forward. Cincinnati. Able to find Sawyer. Sawyer with another chance here. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds off of Cornwell. Nice job by Sawyer sticking with it. And what would normally be a corner kick will be an entry from the corner. the ball on the ground when entering from the corner and we'll have another one. Sawyer. That is going to do it for the third quarter of play. After three, it's Medway one, Hopkinton nothing. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers JV Girls Soccer on HCAM. Fourth quarter coming up next.
We are just about ready for the fourth and final quarter of play. Medway Mustangs leading the Hopkinton Hillers one to nothing. The only score in the game, a third quarter goal by Madeline White with 440 left to go. We'll see if the Hillers can bounce back. It's been a good battle between these two teams and I think uh, both teams have a fair amount of speed out there, Steve. Yeah, just uh, two defensive mistakes led to the goal, um, but otherwise it's been a it's been a fairly even match. No no domination from one team over the other. Possession's been about uh, you know 50 50. Hopkinton started to string some good passes together there towards the end of the third quarter, and like to see if they can build on that. They've had success going down both wings. They just can't uh, finish it. Steph Johnson will put it into play. And we are underway in the fourth quarter. 17 and a half minute quarters in JV is here comes the Hillers. Sawyer trying to work it away. Nice pick of the ball. Good idea. The Hillers on the attack to start this fourth quarter. Cleared away for the moment. Over to midfield. Jones. It's tied up with a couple of Mustangs and keeps it in. Nice effort there by Jones to keep it in play. Pass down by Johnson is cleared away. Into Hiller's territory, tracked down by Graziano. Up the sideline she goes. Medway trying to work their way deeper into Hiller's territory. Murdoch and Graziano. Comes Hopkinton over to Cincinnati. Pass up by Jones, handled by Cornwell for Medway. Cleared away by Silva. And Ina Brooks there to steal it away. Skanson. Good pass over to Sawyer. Sawyer with a lot of open space. Gonna air it out, trying to center it up. No one there. The Hailers do maintain control. And that is sent flying by Steph Johnson and out of play. I'm surprised Sawyer didn't take the shot on that. Yeah, she could have taken a couple more touches and gone at net. She's certainly showing that she has good moves working against defenders. She's created a lot of opportunities for the Hillers in the attack zone. Jones over to Johnson. Up the near sideline of Sansonetti. Over to Sawyer. Sawyer rushing in, uh -oh. takes the shot and it is wide. Behind the net it goes. And we'll have to send uh, one of the players or someone involved with the Hiller staff up to get that ball. That was a good look for Sawyer too. Too bad she couldn't take advantage there. Yeah, it looked like she picked her head up. Just kind of scuffed the turf as she hit the ball. And that's sent flying into Hiller's territory. And out of play. Would have liked to have seen her use the keeper there. It will be Hiller's ball. And back out of play it goes. Now it's Medway's ball. They call it out on Skanson. Over to the far side. Top of the box now. And there's a shot, but it is wide off the foot of Ella DeFoyd. 
Yeah, Medway's more aggressive going to the ball. Hiller is making a line change. They got Lily Torigny, Kate Finnegan coming into the game, among others. Sina Van Buren back in, and also Shelby Jones. Jones, along the near side, sends it up. Airs it out. Handled by Cornwell. And now Torigny over to midfield. And went off of Brooks, sent back up by Medway. Torigny. Here's it out there, and it's sent back up by Medway along the far side. Finnegan trying to get to it. Ratsos. Back and forth along the far sideline we go, and now here comes Torigny. Torigny going to try to center it up, and it's cleared away. Airs it out off of Wamsley. And that's put out of play. Good hustle from the Hillers. Very good hustle. They've had some good attacks in the second half. And it was Nina Brooks who was able to send it out off of Medway. Hillers in the attack zone. Cleared away. But it is out of play. Pass over to Finnegan. Along the far side corner. Back out it goes, this time off of a hiller. 10.30 and counting left to go in this game. It remains a 1-0 Medway lead. You're tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers, JV Girls Soccer. We'll have JV and varsity field hockey, boys and girls soccer, all full long here on HCAM. Shelby Jones a little tripped up as it goes out of play. Miller puts it in towards Tompkins. Sent up by Van Buren. Here comes Van Buren. It was turned away by Cornwell. Sent back by Alstrom Hall. And out of play along the far side off of Caveney. Hiller's ball. And Buren trying to track it down. Now Ronnie got in front of her, and now here comes Jones. Up to Van Buren. She sends it over towards Torigny. Tompkins with it now. Stolen away by Brooks. Here comes Nina Brooks. She'll send it to the box. Can anyone get there? The goaltender there just in time right before Shelby Jones. And it's wrapped up by Diamandis. Along the near side, Shelby Jones. That was a risky move by the goalkeeper coming that far out of the net. But it paid off. He's the keeper. Jones. Trying to send it over to Van Buren, but it's stolen away. And now cleared away by Silva as rushing in was Calarani. And Medway will have a line change. Just under eight minutes to go here in regulation. in 
into play by Pillard. Back out it goes. And out of play along the near side. Upfield. That way, working on an attack here. Getting to it is Bomfim. And now Finnegan going to take it away for the Hillers. And she's quickly slowed down by Cornwell. Along the near side. Trying to get there is Madeline Silva. And it's out of play. Who is it out on? Silva and Malin White got there almost simultaneously, but they call it out on the Hillers. Into the box. Medway looking for a shot here. There it is, wide. Kayla Hansen. The Hillers will change it up. Jessica Erledge, Ariana Schaefer, Alexa Feldman all into the game, as well as Emma Champlin. Hopkinton trying to clear it up the far side, out of play it goes. Well, for a while, Steve looked like the Hillers had some momentum and were winning the position, uh, possession battle, but the Mustangs now starting to get an attack going. Yeah, it's been a, a little bit of a, too much of an ebb and flow here with, from a momentum standpoint. And the one thing that's really helping Medway is they are the more aggressive team to the ball. And it's, uh, it's, it's helping them in the transition game. Put out a play along the far side off of Kate Finnegan. Along the sideline, back and forth we go, and it's taken by Schaefer. Diverted by Cornwell. Schaefer. And here comes Medway. Elstrom Hall trying to get to it. Sends it up to Finnegan, who will send it over towards the sideline. The Hiller is working their way in to Medway territory. Nice pass by Terigny. Here comes Hopkinton. Can they get a shot off here? Champlin. Nope, Smith caught her. <coughs> she reads the game very well. Good speed shown there by the freshman, Danielle Smith. Back out of bounds it goes. Miller is putting it in play. And now it'll be Medway ball. Or excuse me, Hopkinton ball. Now it's and now it's Medway ball. <laughs> a lot of sideline battles in this game. Cornwell will put it into play. Stolen away by Champlin. Sends it into the box, but a little bit too much there. Off the side of the net. Approaching the three minute mark. Danielle Smith will give it a boot. The field it goes, knocked down by Ehrlich. Here comes Selstrom Hall. Sent back up by Jones. Good pass by Finnegan looking for Terigny. Now along the near side is Pillard. Pillard and it is going to be diverted by Jones, which is good because she had Madeline White wide open heading upfield. 
Pass up by Tompkins is turned away. Quickly getting there for Medway is Bomfim. Here comes the Mustangs. Offsides. Offsides it is. Taylor's got to get the ball in quick. 2.15 and counting. Steph Johnson tees it up. Sends it over to Alstrom Hall. Handled by Tompkins. And a good steal there by Champlin. Smith's and there to cut it off. Yeah, she thought she had the break, but Danielle Smith with those good instincts once again. Full of substitutions. Put in a play by the Hillers. Hopkinton with an opportunity here. It's turned away. And a play along the near side. Pirelli puts it back into play. Uh. And that was just past Champlin. Under two minutes. Time running out quickly. ball. Got to go quick. This could be the last opportunity for the Hillers to tie this game up. Here goes Skanson. Back to Johnson now. She'll send it over. Here comes Sansonetti. Oh, take and it down. She is taken down. Right outside the box. Collision with Pillard. And I think the Hillers are going to have a very good uh, free kick opportunity here, and they will. Here it is, and it is in! Nice shot. Steph Johnson with the first score of the game for the Hillers, and we're not at that one apiece with under two minutes left in the fourth quarter. That was a beauty. Got to give the assist to Caitlin Cincinnati on that one. Absolutely. She's had a she's had a very good game, mostly as a number six, but it looks like she's pushed forward a little bit these last couple minutes. And now Medway trying to desperately work it upfield. And as per the usual, if the game is tied after the final buzzer, it will uh, end in a draw. Nice score by the Hillers. That's it. And that's going to do it. We're going to end in a one-to-one -one draw. That was a pretty good game with a lot of momentum shifts, Steve. That was a fun one. Yeah, it was back and forth. Um, a great, great finish for the Hillers, uh, scoring with literally 30 seconds left to tie the game at one-to-one. -one. A great opening match for the girls. Well, the unfortunate news is our could quadruple header today has come to an end but guess what we have two more games for you tomorrow starting at 2 p.m we'll have hillers boys jv soccer against medway followed by the varsity game starting at 4 p.m right here at the hopkinton high school turf field for john ritz on camera my broadcast partner steve sweetapple i'm tom nappy the final score for the final time the hillers and medway and in a draw in their first JV match of the year. One to one, your final score. We'd like to thank everyone out there who watched the Hopkinton Hillers sports action all throughout the day today. And with that, take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again tomorrow for Hillers Boys Soccer. Have a good Saturday, everybody.